Welcome back to the Design Studio. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this gorgeous bridal bouquet utilizing dried materials and some fresh tulips. Today's inspiration for this design is actually, I was flipping through a vintage book and they had those vintage muffs that girls used to wear and I'm seeing them come back for weddings where they put their hands in. So I wanted to make a bouquet kind of similar to that feel, but that's where the inspiration came from. So you're gonna to wanna to start off with a nine inch diameter piece of cardboard with a four inch cutout off to the side. You don't want it to be right in the middle. You don't want it to look like an eyeball. You want it to be kind of off to the side. So you have this, this is where you're gonna start. Then you're gonna take some double satin white ribbon I only use double satin. Um, I think the other kind is a little cheap and it feels cheap and it looks cheap, but the double satin just has a luxury feel to me. So we're gonna add some of that and then you're gonna need your river shear, river, ribbon shears, Lord. Um, I always keep mine in the plastic pouch it came in simply because if it's just sitting out on the table, I don't want a designer or myself to just pick this up and cut something they're not supposed to. At least if it's still in a container, you think twice about what you're supposed to use. We've all had very expensive scissors go to hell because you're cutting them wrong things. So keep them pouched, little tip. You're gonna grab your glue gun. Just give a little dot of glue. Before you ask, there is no reason why I have these cut in pieces. Honestly, it's because I had them left over from another project and I didn't want to waste stuff. So I'm just using the pieces up. So you're just gonna really go around this and cover the whole thing front to back with some of that ribbon. And this way it'll give you a pretty edge the backing will be pretty, and it just looks great. So you're gonna keep going all the way around until the whole thing is covered. Similar to this one that we pre-made. Next, you're going to use your Syndicate Sale four inch pillow. We love these, we use these for a lot of things. They're very versatile. We're only gonna use half of it. And they come in the green, but we actually color enhanced it white because I want it to blend in with the ribbon. I don't want it to stand out. Do you see the difference? So we color enhanced it with white, the Design Master white paint. And then this is, you're gonna just put it in, and do you see how the clips just fit around here perfectly with that four inch cut hole you have? And then what we do is we're gonna go through and we're just gonna glue it on. That way it's not gonna go anywhere. Just take your glue gun and go through, go around, and glue it down so it doesn't go anywhere. And so, do that, follow through. You're probably gonna have to go a couple of times around and then do the reverse. So that is what's gonna hold our flowers once we get to that point. This item is from Canude Nielsen. They have amazing product. I'm gonna link them below because I think everybody should see their stuff. I was fortunate to go to the farms at a design summit and got to play with all their flowers and see what they do. And I think we start to feel a little bit more personal about it once we actually see how many hands have touched our items. So this is their bunny tail bleached. It comes in some other colors, but I love the bleached for this project. And I already pre-cut some of these gorgeous pieces out. As with every dried product, they are gonna shed some. I mean, we can't get away from that, right? So 
Don't be all, it's shedding, it's okay. Give a little dab of glue and then just create your pattern, one right next to the other. And you're just gonna go all the way around And then once you get all the way around, then you're just going to follow it up with another row. And you're going to keep doing this completely around it. And then you're just going to have row upon row. And it's going to be gorgeous. This project took me, just so you guys know, two and a half bunches to finish it to the final project. So if you're wondering how many items it took, it took about two and a half bunches, but so well worth it. And you're just gonna keep going all around. So you can kind of see, if you went all the way around, yes, you're covering the white, but that's okay. We don't want the white to show anyway on this. So once we get to that point, you've gone all the way around with the bunny tails, you glued them in. This is your finished project. I've went around, I've glued them down, the Syndicate Sales pillows attached, and then what I will do is I'll take the petal proofer from Design Master and just lightly coat this so that way it doesn't continue to shed on. That we just have a little bit there, but you can go in and clean that up. But how gorgeous is that? It looks very luxury. It's very soft feeling. Kind of has that muff. Like it just looks so beautiful. And you can make this in any size your heart desires. So for the floral component, I want to just do some clean tulips. The reason I picked tulips is because it has the same shape as the bunny tails. And I love that, you know, the texture of the shape. It's very smooth versus rough. And then I have some gorgeous white vines. Um, if you're going to ask me what they are, I honestly don't know. I took them off of a neighbor's tree this morning on my way to the studio, so I don't know what they're called, and I'm sure they won't miss them, so it's okay. And we're just gonna feed this through, just to give a little bit of the drama. And then your tulips you can feed through and again, I took off the foliage because I really want it to be the eye to really be on the bouquet itself. So you may or may not know some things about tulips as I'm doing this. If you put a little piercing with your knife into the neck of the tulip right under the head, it'll stop from growing. They are going to continuously grow if you don't. And they will grow towards the light. So. If you put them in your cooler, say you're doing a centerpiece and you want them all to go a certain way and you put them into the cooler, they're gonna grow towards the light and they're gonna get stiffened. So just be wary when you do them. If I'm gonna do them in centerpieces or a bridal bouquet, I will actually cut them and place them a little bit shorter than what I want them to be because I recognize they are going to grow as they drink water. And I like having these sunk down. You have some dimension. Somebody once told me if you want them to be straight in a vase, if you add some vodka to the water, it'll actually strengthen them. I don't know about that. I'm sure it's true. Aren't all those things kind of true that we hear? No, I don't know. Test it. And just make sure 
you add some to your drink too. You notice I'm using the ones that are broke. I'm gonna cut this down anyway, so why not use the pieces that are broken off? They don't belong in the garbage. They don't belong on the floor. You could use them. that so pretty and then what I'm going to do is I want to add a few of these within the flowers because I want it to look like the collar just completely grew and the flowers grew through them so I'm just gonna place them for now but I would use the cold glue and just glue some of these in because that just gives the idea that it's a complete pattern and the flowers grew in between naturally. And then just take your shears, cut off the base, wrap the back with some white satin, And there we have it. Let's cut this off. So there we have it. A beautiful cascade bouquet with a great collar, real focal point. Hope you enjoy this. Please like below, share, comment, let me know what you're loving. If you have any ideas that you want to see something, I would be happy to create something. Thank you so much. See you next time.